Hey guys, this is Mafia ninety seven, and today I I have with me my Mister ninety seven build with a four seven nine zero K underneath a Neptune two forty M Kingston HyperX Fury sixteen hundred megahertz RAM, which I have currently clocked at twenty one thirty three megahertz. Uh, MSI GTX nine seventy gaming four G uh, graphic card uh, and uh, a, a gaming uh, MSI Z ninety seven gaming five motherboard along with the Corsair RM seven fifty power supply. Uh, it is fully modular power, power supply, which I got in replacement for my TX seven fifty V two from Corsair. I will talk about the Corsair service in a bit, but let me first tell you the co uh, clocks I am running at. I'm running the four seven nine zero K at four point six gigahertz. Uh, the it idles at thirty five to forty degrees Celsius, and under full load it reaches about maximum to eighty five degrees Celsius. Uh, this is with the ambient temperature of around thirty five degrees in the room. Uh, uh, it's actually summers in the uh, in India, so that's why such high temperatures. I've Clogged the MSI GTX 970 at uh, uh, 1456 megahertz with uh, memory around uh, 2000 mega uh, megahertz, which gives it's a effective memory clock of 8000 megahertz. And uh, RAM, I, as I told you, I've clocked at 2133 megahertz. Uh, it's very easy to install RAM. Just click it inside. Uh, uh, the Neptune 240M uh, doesn't fi uh, really fit in my uh, CM69 uh, 690 case. Uh, what I had to do was apply three screws at the top by removing this top panel. And then uh, I have uh, used two uh, binds to uh, keep the Neptune 240M radiator in place with my CM690. The um, uh, it's a workaround and it's quite effective with my case. The problem was uh, what I was facing uh, uh, while installing it was the heat sink of the motherboard here uh, was getting in between with the radiator and also the CPU fan pin here was also uh, getting in between with the radiator to keep it in place. So that's why I ha had to use these two binds here to keep it in place, keep the radiator CM uh, Neptune two forty M in place. The temperatures are good enough for me, and the Neptune two forty M performance have been really bri brilliant. Uh, uh, keeping the four point six gigahertz clock, four point six gigahertz, four seven nine zero K under uh, good temperatures, so that's good. Also, I have uh, one intake fan here, one intake fan in the front, uh, one exhaust fan. Here, if you can see it, and two exhaust fans of uh, Silencio fans of uh, Neptron 240M. So effectively, I have uh, three intake, including the one on in the side panel. Here you can see that, and uh, three outtake fan, uh, exhaust fans. In my case, the temperature are good for the case. Mostly the CPU idles at 35 degrees Celsius. The graphic card idles at 40 to 43 degrees Celsius without even the f uh, uh, fans kicking in. The twin frozen five cooling is very good, very impressive. Also, the motherboard temperature is around I guess 33 degrees Celsius last I checked. So guys, uh, without further ado, I will show you the temperatures in benchmarks and full load. I will remove the side panel, and you can see the temperatures via this LED panel. This LED panel you can see here near the PCI slot, so that will give you a clarity at what temperatures I am running at at 4.6 gigahertz. So that's it, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Have a great day.